Hello and welcome to Craving to Create. My name is Alex and if you follow Craving to Create anywhere, right now we've been talking about our trip to Alaska last year. Kat and I had an amazing time. The landscapes and the nature was absolutely beautiful. And the food that we experienced there was also really great. We actually got really lucky and the Airbnb host that we stayed with offered us a home-cooked Alaskan meal at the end of our stay and the highlight of that dish was salmon. And I thought this is the best time to show off a salmon recipe as that is one of the staples of Alaskan cuisine. But I thought I'd throw a little twist with some of California's cuisine as well, which is why I went to the farmer's market and I picked up some cherry tomatoes, some fennel, and some shallots just to showcase a little bit of what my local cuisine is as well. So this video and recipe is going to be a fennel salmon with a tomato shallot vinaigrette. So as always, before we get going, let's go over the ingredients that you'll need. So to start, you will need salmon, of course. I've got two lovely pieces of a coho salmon. Honestly, any salmon will work well. We're also going to be using fennel. I have half of a fennel because the fennel that I picked out was really big. So you just want one that's going to be proportional to what you're making this half felt like it would be plenty for these two pieces. You're also going to want to reserve some of the fronds of the fennel. You're going to use these later for a garnish. You also are going to want some lemons, both for the vinaigrette and for the salmon. Cherry tomatoes. If you don't have cherry tomatoes, you can use any kind of tomato. Just, I would say, dice them instead of having. Shallot. One should be plenty. And some basil. Also, we'll be using a red wine vinegar, and you'll need olive oil, salt, and pepper as your staple ingredients as well. All right, so let's start. So the very first step of this recipe is to go preheat your oven to 425. So once you have your oven turned to 425, you're gonna start with your fennel. So fennel is a really interesting ingredient. It smells kind of like licorice. I'm just gonna start by taking off the bottom because I won't use that. And it kind of comes apart just like this, and I'm just gonna take that off. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut this into slices about half an inch thick. That first one was a little big. And you only want to get the white part of the fennel. You don't want to get the green part. We're going to start by roasting these on a pan, on a sheet pan. And then we're going to add the salmon to them in a little bit once they get nice and softened up and cooked a little bit. And I'm just going to season it with a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. So now you want to get a sheet pan and some foil, and you're going to just line your pan with some foil, just to make it a little easier later. And you're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on that foil. If you don't like getting your hands oily, you can use like a brush or a paper towel, but I don't mind, so I'm just going to go ahead and rub that oil around. And then you want to take your fennel and place it uh, on the pan. And what you're going to do is basically make a nest where you're going to put your salmon fillets later. I'm going to keep a little hole right in the middle there. That's where we're going to put our salmon fillets. And now your oven should be preheated and you're going to go ahead and stick this in. So you want it in there for about 15 minutes, which should be enough time for you to actually start and finish prepping your vinaigrette, which is what we're going to do now. But in case that you don't, you can set a timer and just go ahead and pull them out of the oven if you're not done by that point, or you can skip ahead to the salmon part and finish the vinaigrette after you're done with all the rest of it. So tomatoes, you need about a cup's worth, and I'm going to go ahead and have these cherry tomatoes. Okay, so now that you're done with your tomatoes, I'm just gonna transfer them to our bowl. Okay, so then we're gonna do a shallot, and for this one, again, we're gonna take off that back end, and then I'm gonna do very thin slices So once your shallots are done, go ahead and you're gonna throw them in with your tomatoes, just like that. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon and a half of red wine vinegar. And I'm gonna to toss that with the shallots and the tomatoes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt and some pepper. And at this point, you can set that to the side. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to prepare your salmon. So, very basic preparations for the salmon. So if you get salmon from the supermarket, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that you have two pretty even slices of even thickness. That way they both cook 
Similarly, if you're just gonna do one piece, then it's totally fine. Um, but for here, I'm gonna do two different pieces, so I'm gonna try to keep them similar in shape and similar in size. And I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some pepper on these. And again, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. So at this point, there should be about four to five minutes until your fennel is at its 15 minute mark, which is when you wanna add your salmon in there, uh, which means that we're gonna cook our salmon up. So we're gonna do that on a stove top. So for this, I'm gonna use a nonstick pan just cause it's fish. Uh, but if you don't have a nonstick pan, just make sure that you really butter or oil your pan before you cook. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat, heat this up and I'm gonna add just a tad bit of oil just so we get a nice crispiness on the top of the fish uh, when we put it on the pan. So you're gonna to wanna to put your fish on the pan skin side up. And then when you put it in the oven, you'll reverse it and it'll have the skin side down. But that way you get a nice kind of sear on the top of your salmon. So once this gets nice and warm, so that should be plenty hot. And when you put this down, you wanna lay it away from you. So if any oil does splatter, it's not on you. So this is gonna cook for about three minutes and then we're gonna take it off and we're gonna put it into the pan. Okay, so we've got our sheet pan out and the salmon is almost ready. It needs about a minute. I just brought this out because it's a lot easier for me to put this onto the pan here instead of having to try to do it in a hot stove. So three minutes is up and we're gonna now put them skin side down. So the skin side should still be pretty cool to the touch. So you should be able to put those there with no problem. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and push my fennel back in towards the middle, just so it's nice and nesting the salmon. And then this is going to go back in the oven. Okay, so now that goes in the oven for about three to four minutes, and then you're gonna pull that out and it'll be ready to serve. So the final step of all of this is that you're gonna take about a tablespoon's worth of basil, and you're gonna just chop that up. Uh, this is gonna be for the tomato vinaigrette just roughly chopped, and you're gonna just throw that in there with the tomatoes and shallots. And then I like to add a little bit of lemon zest as well. So if you have a microplane or a zester, go ahead. And I'm just gonna do about a lemon's worth and dunk that in there with the vinaigrette. It's time to pull your salmon out of the oven. It should be this lovely orange color. The fennel around it should be a little crispy, a little charred, but it should have a nice sweet flavor to it. And there you go the finished dish inspired from our trip to Alaska. You've got a fennel salmon with a cherry tomato vinaigrette with shallots and I decided on asparagus. You can decide on whatever you'd like. I hope you enjoyed this recipe video. Again, if you haven't checked out the blog, there are a lot of other travel stories, also food stories there. And then we also have the Instagram account, craving to create So feel free to check both of those out. We're super excited that this is going well. And as always, don't forget to be awesome.